वेस्ट वाटर स्टोरी पार्ट टू हेलो चिल्ड्रन यू लर्न अबाउट वेस्ट वाटर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो दिस वेस्ट वाटर इफ फाउंड इन एनी अदर वाटर सोर्स पोल्यूट्स इट ड्यू टू दिस द वाटर विल नॉट बी यूजफुल फॉर ड्रिंकिंग और फॉर एनी अदर ह्यूमन यूज इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू ट्रीट दिस वाटर लेट इज गो अगेन टू राकेश इज क्लास एंड लर्न अबाउट द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ वेस्ट वाटर The objective of this video is to understand how wastewater is treated. Today sir had said that he will teach about the wastewater treatment. Do you know when me and Sunil were going home yesterday we saw an open drain. Dirty water was flowing from it and it smelled very dirty. Then we met the health center's anganwadi didi and told her everything. She was happy that we were aware and informed her about the drain. Children, what are you discussing about? Good, Good morning, morning, sir. Good morning. All of you please sit down. Yesterday we were talking about waste water. Today we will learn about the treatment of that water. Can any of you tell me what substances can be found in waste water? Pieces of clothes, cans, plastic packets, napkins, earthen vessels of clothes, papers etc sir. Correct. Apart from this There is also human excreta oil and a lot of physical chemical and biological matter that is why waste water is treated with physical chemical and biological processes Sir after all these processes where does this water go After proper treatment of the contaminated water it is recycled it is used in plantation irrigation flushing etc as per the requirement all this is from the grey water sewage mostly consists of grey water and what does one do with black water black water is not reused in the houses due to the presence of bacteria E coli virus etc in it most of the human excreta and black water is used as fertilizer and as nutrients for the soil is the treated water also released into rivers and seas the treated water is also released into rivers and seas the treated water contains small amount of organic matter and suspended substances they are cleared by natural process and quite often chlorine and ozone are added to the water this makes the water germs free children water also naturally becomes clean in rivers how is this possible sir it means that we should not leave untreated water in rivers seas etc correct It is an offense to dispose of the untreated waste water into rivers, seas etc. Waste water already contains bacteria, viruses and other germs that thrive on oxygen dissolved in the water. This results in low oxygen levels in the water and aquatic animals of the water die. It contaminates the water and is a great loss. Sir Can you explain the whole process of waste water treatment to us? Yes. This entire process is of 4 to 5 steps. In the first phase, sewage water is flown in the screen or mesh of the treatment plant, separating some of the larger sized suspended materials like fibers, stones, packets, napkins etc. 
In this way, about 60% of the suspended particles are separated by the process of filtration. That is why we should not put all these things in water. Correct. Due to this filtering, the machines installed in the steps ahead are also saved. This water is then sent to the grit and sand removal plant. Here, sand, egg peels, bone, bone fragments etc. are separated. It is such a big process. After this, the contaminated water is kept in large tank for sedimentation. The contaminated water is left stagnant in a large tank about 5 meters deep. Heavy particles present in the contaminated water settle down and relatively clean water at the top is taken for further treatment. The contaminated water in this tank is kept for at least 2 to 6 hours. Oil, fat, grease are extracted by the process of flotation. The primary step of treatment is over. The water is mostly clean with this step. Yes, after this, the water goes into an aeration tank for the second stage of treatment. In this process, aerobic bacteria are used for treatment. Organic materials are decomposed by aerobic bacteria. Bacteria eliminates the degraded substance by consuming it as food. It means bacteria are useful for us. Yes, this process clears water to great extent. From here, water goes to the secondary clarifier. Fire. Here, the biological waste is separated. Water is treated with chlorine and is used for irrigation, flushing, etc. The remaining water is sent to rivers and seas. The remaining biological waste or sludge is sent to the sludge thickener. Here, anaerobic bacteria converts thick sludge into gas in the absence of oxygen. This is called biogas. Very dried sludge is used as manure and nutrients to the soil. Sir, this is such a complicated and a long process. We have to keep in mind that waste and trash is separated and disposed of carefully. Thank you for explaining this so clearly. Thank you for the information, sir. Children, we learned how to treat wastewater in this video. In the next video, we will learn about sanitation and cleanliness. Goodbye. See you again.